And they're coming out now, the A finalists here for the women's 100 backstroke. We got two from the Aqua Jets here. Again, a very strong tradition in backstroke. And we're going to start off naming the field here in lane number one. Rachel Whitmer from Aqua Jets in lane two. It's Carrie Boone from Nation's Capital. Three is Michaela Hinkle from St. Curry Swim Club. Lane three, the top qualifier, winner of the 200 backstroke on Wednesday, Lucy Nordman from the Woodlands. Zoe Avisters from the Aqua Jets is in lane five. Megan Maroney from St. Andrew Swimming is in lane six. Lane seven, that's Hannah Whiteley from Mesa Manta Rays. And running out the field, lane number eight, that's Hannah Lindsay from All Star Aquatics. So Lucy Norman in lane four, as I said, won the 200 backstroke on Wednesday. Let's see if she can get the backstroke double. It's going to have some very tough competition here. Great underwater dolphin kicking there. A lot of those swimmers went all the way to 15 meters. That's the maximum allowable distance. You can go underwater off the start in the walls. Megan Maroney out there in lane six, making a big push. Five of the ladies in this heat already have their Olympic trials times. The only three that do not are Rachel Whitmer in one, Megan Maroney in six, and Hannah Lindsay in eight. And it's Nordman out first, 30.12. Lucy Nordman looking strong to get that double in the backstroke event. It looks like it will be Lucy Nordman. It is. Wow. 101 76. A fantastic swim for 14 year old Lucy Nordman to win the 100 backstroke. In second place, Megan Maroney, 102.81, getting her Olympic trials qualifying time. And then in third, in lane two, that was Carrie Boone, 102.86.